Welcome back to another Elmore Family Adventure. <laughs> Today we have our Comic Palooza haul. Yes. And yeah, so we went to Comic Palooza this mm -hmm. year and really fun. We always have fun at cons and we told you there'd be more cons coming and there's yes. still more. So there you go. And so now we're going to show you everything we got while we're there. You might have seen some of it in the video, some of the purchases possibly, but here's going to be like an up close look. So where do we want to start? Do we want to start with art? Because we know how we are I about art. So we probably should start with art. So let's go ahead and just get it out of the way. Okay. So our first piece is from Brian. I think this is Brian Salinas. Yes. So this is kind of like the sketch uh, original. Like this is the original piece. I don't know if you're going to be able to see Duke in it. I don't know. Just look at that detail though. There he is. Duke in the sights of Miss the Baroness. Look at her. He Love is her. a wonderful artist. We, yes. We get art from him a lot. <laughs> yeah, and as always, uh, information to artists and vendors um, from this video will be linked in the description below. So if you want to yes. check out their stuff, go to those links and give them a follow and a like if you can. I'm so sorry. I was like... Oh, okay. <laughs> this is while I'm talking. I'm so sorry. What is this? What is it? Did Mystery bag. Oh, that's the, um, so these are some comics. Here you go. Not art, but, uh, these are comics that, um, dad came across this booth. Um, it's an original comic from, uh, a writer from New York, I believe. And so Dowd is talking to him about our New York escapades and uh, yeah. the trouble we got in. <laughs> so, um, that's really fun. But yeah, um, it's, here comes Calico. Yeah. And three, uh, three of those comics. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Here's two, and here's number three. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> There's so many stickers. Ooh. Oh, that must be from... Their name is... Nakatomi? Is it from them? Yeah, that's from Nakatomi. Okay. This is yours? Yes. Yeah, so this is a print from Nakatomi from Austin, Texas. It, it's your favorite devil from Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> what? From Hell's Kitchen? That's where he's from. Really? In New York. What? Okay, I'm just dumb. My bad. I'm not dumb. You're just... <laughs> I just forget. Not educated. <laughs> I mean, I watched the show. I just forgot where he was from. Okay, so Matt Murdock is from Hell's Kitchen, and just look at this piece. Look at that detail. So amazing. But yes, for those of you out there who don't know. I thought you were doing, you know how Gordon Ramsay has his Hell Kitchen show? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> is he from there? You're like, fun fact that I didn't know. Oh, goodness gracious. But yes. Do you have to pull out? Speaking of Daredevil, I've got another piece with him and his girl, Electra. And fun fact about Electra, Anna actually did a cosplay with her one well, year. Way long ago. Yeah. When I was much younger. <laughs> <laughs> in your younger days. My, in my youth, I did have a youth Electra outfit. But that's one of them, and then this is the other one we got. The first minute Anna saw this, she was like, we have to get it. Yes, and the main reason behind that is, okay, of course we love She-Hulk and Spider-Woman, but we have an extra special love for them because mm -hmm. uh, Spider-Woman was the first action figure uh, Dad gave to me. It was, I think mm -hmm. it was a Christmas present, if I remember correctly, back when we were 
five, five, six, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Five, six. And then um, She-Hulk was the first figure he gave Aubrey. And uh, I, I only said the uh, one thing that would make that piece of art just like just an ounce more perfect was if She-Hulk was in her Fantastic Four outfit because that's what she that's what the figure has on yeah. so anyway but them together I was like ah so yeah do you cool. even know what happened to these figures there's some yeah I have them oh you have them yes let's get the little sleeve keep them protected the hardest part about art putting them back in the sleeve and these bags are not small. This bag is was ginormous. <laughs> Anywho, underneath we have two more pieces of art, and we get art from him every I think year. His information right here. Woodside illustrations. Every single year we get yes. something. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's what this year is. Which one would you like to do? I do this one. Okay. So this one is Scarlet Witch and WandaVision and the new uh, Multiverse of Madness, right? I think it's just WandaVision. Really? Yeah, because she okay. has the wavy, fiery hair. So I'm pretty sure that's just WandaVision. So that's it's so pretty. Okay. And we got Vox Machina. If you have not seen this show on Amazon Prime, we highly suggest doing so because um, I know I haven't been too into um, Dungeons and Dragons, mm -hmm. uh, but after watching this show, watching Critical Role uh, and all of their campaigns, it's just been like, okay, I'm into it. And then also just the, like how good the show is in general, I highly recommend. Yes, it was actually really good. I've actually seen it twice now. <laughs> yes, super good. Highly recommend. So we saw this and we were like, ah, get it! It was actually the first art piece that we've actually seen in Vox Machina. So yeah. We were like, we have to get it. Mm-hmm. So, just for that. that's those two pieces. And then next we have autographs. So, the oh yeah. So we met... Meng Chang. Chang. And, and he was in our hotel and we had multiple yeah. encounters with him. He honestly is one of my favorite celebrities to meet. I met him we met him a couple times now actually. Mm -hmm. And the first time I actually had an interaction with him, I was in Scarlet and I walked past him and he was like, Oh my gosh, that's the best Scarlet outfit and he was like, I gotta get a picture with you and I was like, Okay, as long as I can You're get like, a picture with you <laughs> <laughs> And it was really cool. And he's actually in our video. Yeah, I'm sure you saw. So yeah, super he's, cool. He's thanks, Mang. If you ever get to meet him, do it. <laughs> super cool. Yeah. And then and we got to meet Sergeant Slaughter. We got to meet him again. Again, and the first time we met him was in Tennessee. Oh uh, yeah, it was like August. Or was it Georgia? No, it was Georgia. Augusta. Was Georgia, yeah. Augusta, Georgia for the G.I. Joe Con that happens yes. there every year. And so we met Sergeant Slaughter there for the first time. And he was great. Loved the interaction. And so we saw that he was coming to Comic Palooza and we were like, let's do it again. And uh, yeah, so we did. And he put us in his like, uh, he, <laughs> was it Cobra Hold? His Cobra, Cobra, Cobra Clutch. clutch. Yeah. Cobra Clutch. So what's, what's funny about that is we were taking pictures of Dad uh, with him because we met him twice, actually. Mm -hmm. Both days were or Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday, we took pictures of Dad with him. And he was like, I'm putting the Cobra Clutch. But he didn't tell Dad that. He just started doing yeah. it. And we were like, <laughs> we were like get him. Yeah. It was good. And then um, he did that to us as well. But he was very kind about it. <laughs> he did it with both of us. So he put yeah. his like that and so it was, yeah. it was what i don't know what? you were to say something i was gonna say <laughs> i was gonna <laughs> say go to our instagram <laughs> to see those pictures they're not yes. up just yet but all those comic palooza pictures they're going up on our instagram and so follow us at elmore family adventures to go see those pictures because that's a little bit <laughs> I, my brain is just goop. You know what's funny? She actually did that in line when we met. That in line for Sergeant Slaughter. I was like, goop. <laughs> I was like, 
just like <laughs> what <laughs> i was trying to say <laughs> that's where they'll be not the <laughs> boo <laughs> Good gravy. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Slaughter is one of the other celebrities that we recommend meeting. He's mm -hmm. super nice, and, and of course he's got all the merch. So oh gosh, yeah, <laughs> get you some merch because we did. Um. <laughs> okay. What are we off to next? You want to do these? I think that's too? all the art. Yeah, that's all the art. Can you believe that? <laughs> that's crazy for us. For real. Oh. And the, but there was so much you, we wanted to buy too. <laughs> there was so much. <laughs> it's so hard. <sighs> so. That's what we walked away with, mm -hmm. art-wise. Yes. So now it's time to the stuff. Yes. What we got first? We got crock charms. So let's open the crock charms. So this is Cargo Houston. Uh, yes. Cargo Vintage Houston. So what drew me in was the Whataburger. The Whataburger. I love Waterburger. That was a whisper. That was Waterburger. <laughs> if you missed. It's, so I always get corrected. It's Waterburger, but we call it Water. Water. Waterburger. <laughs> Waterburger. That's how we grew up saying it. So that's what it is. And then I also had to get Baymax. He's just super cute and I had to get him. And then we got Rugrats. Nope. Okay, maybe? Yeah, that's it. There yeah. we go. And then we had to get the alcohols. The al 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 alcohol. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a stutter on purpose. <laughs> By the way, that wasn't me messing up. That's a song. Anyway, go ahead. What song is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just a song. Okay, we got uh, Bud Light. We got Crown Royal. And then we also got Patron. So, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are our cock charms. We walked one. by and mom thought they were uh, pins. <laughs> I was like, that's not what they not are. Not quite. We got now, one. let's do the shirts. Okay. So we, we gave Anna her birthday present earlier. I just scratched her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah. Birthday present early. They found this booth that, if I can find the name, I'll include. But they basically put Harry Potter, Supernatural, and I think that's the, the main two. They yeah. combined them together, had all kinds of merch for either or both of them combined. And so Mom and Aubrey got me one of them combined. Hogwarts School of Hunting with the boys on it. Got Sam as Ravenclaw, Cassiel as a Hufflepuff, and Dean as a Slytherin. Which is great because I'm a Gryffindor, so I complete the you do. quad of them. <laughs> quad squad. And then mom got Eye of the Tiger. I don't know if you can see it all. Here we go. Yeah. Super cool shirts. I really love this. Can't wait to wear it. Two different things. So what's cool about that booth is I looked over next to the shirts and they had potions. So they had like names on the oh. bottles. And one guy asked, are you able to drink those? And she was like, I don't recommend that. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh. Scary. I okay. think next we want to do these. Um... Sure. Or we can do these. Let's do these. I was like, let's just do that. Okay, we'll have this out. Okay. One little thing, uh, Canes, the chicken finger <laughs> company, had a booth, and they were mm -hmm. giving out uh, prizes to people who rolled a two or a five on their big dice, because it's their 25th anniversary, I think is why they were out there. Um, but we won a couple times, the, between the four of us, so there's one of the prizes we got. Just a is little it pink? Or is yeah, that... it's like a little pink, okay. pinkish water bottle. And then Aubrey and I got scrunchies. scrunchies. <laughs> they're actually super cute. And they're soft. Yes. There we go. Oh, like, oh, no. Nope. There we go. Really cute. Um, And then along with that, they had uh, gift cards that they were handing out. So we were like, yeah. 
Yes. Go Canes. Yeah. <laughs> And then we also got... So, uh, this booth is always at Comic Palooza. Mm -hmm. And they always have charm bracelets, pins, earrings, necklaces. And they usually focus... I guess they're just, like, fandom-focused, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Because they cover a lot of bases. They've got Marvel. They've got Disney. They've got DC. They've got, like, Supernatural, Harry Potter. And even, like, musicals, um, Broadway. Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. So... We were like all about it. We were checking out the regular bracelets and we were like, huh, I don't know. But then we got to the clearance. And so what did we get from clearance? We got bracelets. Oh, no, I think So do you want to do yours first or do you want to do mine? Uh, you go ahead. Okay, I got Gravity Falls. And it is hard to find Gravity Falls stuff. I mean, <clears throat> we, we found, we've seen some stuff online, but not really in person. So we have Mabel, Mabel Waddles, one of the gnomes, I don't remember his name, that's another thing, the book, Dipper, Grunkle Stan, and mm, I don't like to remember his name, we don't like him. He's got all the main, yep. main folks. Main folks? <laughs> Ooh, it's focused on my eye. And then I got a nightmare before Christmas. And uh, what? Look on the back, it says, don't get this bracelet wet. Oh man, oh, disclaimer. Look. I wonder if this is be on all of them. Good to know. It's not on mine. Oh. Can I well, can't wear this on Splash Mountain, I guess. But yeah, that was my intention was like, this would be perfect to wear to like, well, perfect around Halloween and Christmas time, of course, but especially during, like, um, special Halloween events. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but yeah, it was super cute. And I was going to say that I'm not, like, all about Nightmare Before Christmas besides, like, I don't know, some shirts and maybe, like, Halloween decor. Um, but this has, like, the charms on it are... There are some that are very, like, in your face, but for the most part, um, I feel like the charms are very, very cutesy, which I'm all about. So, of course, we've got Zero, Christmas Tree, Jack, Jack-O-Lantern, Sally. What's this one? Oh, another small Jack. There he is, another small Jack. Santa hat, them on the mountain, and Oogie and a bat. So yeah, super cute. We really like them, got them on sale because that's what we're about. And yeah, so we're super happy. Finally got um, something from this booth after so many years of looking and uh, yearning for one of their bracelets. Um, but yeah, let's get into some figures now. Yeah. Let's do this one first. So we stopped by our friend's booth, which is Angela and Steven. Mm -hmm. And of course we had to buy stuff from them. They had good stuff. They do. They had really good stuff. Um, so dad needed... Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow. I was supposed to say Snake Eyes. I was like, that's not right. Close. <laughs> this is Storm Shadow. His box. He's super cute. Yeah, and this is the classified series, um, which is like the revamped G.I. Joe. And here we got Spirit. Very cool. And the details in these figures is just awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got Spirit. And is that... Yeah, I think that's the only two yeah, for that. And then, you want to show this one? You can show yours first. And then I, I don't have a lot of Star Wars uh, figures. Anything I do have is from my grandpa or stuff um, dad has found. <laughs> what? You're like halfway in the frame. Sorry. You're like from my grandpa? Grandpa. <laughs> My pop pop. Um, um, 
or my granddad. Uh, but anyway, so this one was the first one that I was like, I see it and I want it and it will be mine. And it's this Ahsoka. If we will focus on Ahsoka. There we go. But yes, it's a Ahsoka figure. I really liked it because uh, of like her Laku just looks so good and then just like I guess the whole I like the whole figure really um she looks great and this is the black series for those in search okay so we had to see we had to get had to see how to get this because it is very cool his name is gigawatt but he is also the DeLorean mm -hmm. from Back to the Future right there yeah, it was a crossover and it was actually, it's really, really cool. And it will be staying in the box. I don't want to see it open. Always in the box. Yes. Except for exceptions. <laughs> if you have like multiple of one. Yeah. That's usually. Usually how we do it. So we love Angela. I love Angela because she always has these little figures and I'm a huge collection, or I have a huge collection of little Disney figures and like little, I don't know, different figurines. So we had to get some different figures and there's a bunch. So I don't know all the names. Uh, Anna does. So we'll just, just show some of them. We'll just show like some. So I have one of this one already. Not this one. Uh, one from the, the series of these. So there's like different ones. And I got Aladdin. He's... He's from my favorite movie. There you go. Aladdin. Just got Genie, which this is actually an old McDonald's toy, which is actually really cool. And let's do one more. Uh, let's do Ariel. She's like reaching cool. for something. <laughs> <laughs> She's like reaching for something. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> She's just like. Okay. Yeah, little figures like that. Yeah. Love them. All right. We found two more. Two more G.I. Joes. These are from Super Happy Incredible Toys here in Houston. And who we got? We got uh, Cobra Commander. Also in that series. There he is. Pretty cool. Pretty cute. And we got... Gung Ho. Is it Gung or Gung? Gung. Gung, okay. I Gung Ho. Right. I said it right. Alrighty. That is them. No coolness. During this comic palooza, I was on the hunt. Um, speaking of Granddad, he got me um, some of the Marvel Legends figures. He found them on sale for like 20 bucks. So, um, he got them and I was like, well, now I have to finish the set. And, uh, so I was on the hunt to find deals and steals on this series. Now the series is the Spider-Man No Way Home partial series. It's got a mix of things. So I'll tell you the ones that granddad got it for first. Granddad got, um, Marvel's Shriek first. And then I found Morlun, the vampire, uh, at another Walmart on sale. So I was like, yes. Uh, well, actually, no. He got me those two. He might have got me those two, but I found J. Jonah Jameson uh, at a Walmart. So I had four figures left that I needed to find. Mm -hmm. One of them being this Spider-Man. So this is Spider-Man from Spider-Man from No Way Home and he does not have a piece to make the big figure. Um, so he's kind of like the starter. But, you know, it's got to be a complete set. So found him. I was like, yes. Then I found Doctor Strange and I was like, okay, two more to go. We're working. We're getting them. And probably most people know 
there are so many Legends figures. Yes. So many. So I was really, you know, in the trenches with all those Legends out there. But I was lucky enough to find a Spider-Man in his uh, dark suit here. So now I have one figure left to find to complete the series. And, oh, they all make um, armadillo, by the way. But here are all the characters. I just need the Miles Morales, and then it'll be done. And then I can rest. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that. And I, even I don't have that many Legends figures by themselves, so. No. This has been a whole new journey and I've enjoyed it along the way. So yeah, those are all the figures from this weekend. Now we have one final thing to show you and we couldn't go to a con without getting some type of surprise thing we gotta unbox something y'all yeah. so here's what we got we got us a gi joe uh bag clip unboxing we have four and that's because we have seven of them here <laughs> all lined up for you we have Cobra Commander, Crimson Guard, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Roadblock, Scarlet, and the exclusive B figure, which is another Cobra agent. Mm -hmm. So, it's time to open four more because there's four more we need. And that's Duke, Baroness, which is like, we hope to get Baroness, uh, Destro, and the exclusive A figure. Choose your bags. Um, I'll just go with these two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First two bags. Looks a little too big to put away. Oh no. I think I got another snake eyes. Did you? I feel like we have five billion snake eyes. Oh, it's another storm shadow. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Alright. We're just really looking for Baroness. Come on, Baroness. Got a snake eye. Dang it! <laughs> snake eye. We love snake eyes. We do. But we don't need any more. That's a good question for the comments. Is who is your snake eyes? Oh, yeah. Is there something you keep getting? Oh, and if you're interested in, like, trading um, bag clips, like, let us know. Uh, yes. Especially, like, over on Instagram. Because... I have a couple that we could trade, especially Snake Eyes, but just in general, we've got Princesses, Marvel, all the above. So let us know if you want to trade back clips or pins because we're always down for that. But mm, another roadblock. All right. We like them. We just want Baroness. Dang it. <laughs> really another Scarlet. We have no new ones. Well, it's gonna it would be hard because we have seven of them so yeah. i mean at least i get some now yeah now <laughs> you can have some in your room yeah <laughs> but i mean it's like literally the central characters well, what can sure you do these good were, traders pretty sure these were the first four we opened to probably do you have a video of that i don't know maybe don't somewhere know. out there in the void <laughs> there might be a video <laughs> Well, that was a little anticlimactic, but still great, um, mm -hmm. great stuff. We love Comic Palooza. That was, this is kind of like the aftershock of Comic Palooza, I feel like. So, yeah. well, anyway, <laughs> Good to hear you. looking up for looking out for next year. Yep. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, follow us on Instagram at Elmore Friendly Adventures. And like Aubrey said, leave a comment of what is your snake eyes? What character haunts you in all of your <laughs> dreams and nightmares? Um, so yeah, we'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>